some of the greatest and recognizable paintings of all times. The Las Meninas One of the most famous and controversial artworks of all time was the Las Meninas or the Maids of Honor by Diego Velázquez. It is regarded as a dialogue between artist and viewer, with its double mirror imagery and sketchy brushwork that brings every figure and object in the room to life. It has been described as one of the most written about paintings of all time. Indeed, it has had a particular, persistent and allure for writers, inviting readings both conventional and outlandish. It has been this way since its completion during the Spanish Golden Age. The painting now is in-housed in Madrid's Prado Museum. Las Meninas is a highlight of Velázquez's accomplished portfolio of work. The Scream The Scream painting is a famous painting in art history by Norwegian painter Edward Munch in 1893. The original German title given by Munch to his work was Der Schrei der Nature or The Scream of Nature in English. The agonized face in the painting has become one of the most iconic images of art, seen as symbolizing the anxiety of the human condition. The painting is in the National Gallery and Munch Museum in Oslo, Norway. Edward Munch's famous painting, The Scream, was sold for $119.9 million at Sotheby's in New York last 2012. The Girl with a Pearl Earring Specifically, Johannes Vermeer known for his, his depictions of domestic interiors and portraits of women, like the figure featured in Girl with a Pearl Earring. It is one of just 35 paintings attributed to the painter, who saw moderate success during his lifetime. Girl with a Pearl Earring is an oil painting by Dutch Golden Age painter Johannes Vermeer around 1665. Going by various names over the centuries, it became known by its present title towards the end of the 20th century. After the earring worn by the girl portrayed there, the painting often referred to as the Mona Lisa of the North. The consensus among historians is the girl with a pearl earring is a Baroque painting, not a Renaissance painting. The painting permanently resides in the Moritz House Museum in The Hague. It was sold for just two guilders at auction in 1881. The Last Supper The Last Supper is a late 15th century mural painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. It is one of the Western world's most recognizable paintings. The painting represents the scene of the Last Supper of Jesus with his apostles, as it is told in the Gospel of John 13:21. Leonardo has depicted the consternation that occurred among the twelve apostles when Jesus announced that one of them would betray him. In 1495, Leonardo da Vinci began what would become one of history's most influential works of art, The Last Supper. The Last Supper measures 460 cm by 880 cm, and covers an end wall of the dining hall at the Monastery of Santa Maria del Grazi in Milan, Italy. The Kiss The Kiss is the popular final painting of Klim's gold period, during which he incorporated gold leaf into his works. This practice reflects the strong influence of the gold-detailed religious art of the Middle Ages as well as the sacred works created by artists of the Byzantine Empire. The Kiss, close up on the embrace. Like many of Klim's works that depict embraces, the kiss conceals the man's face and focuses instead on that of the woman. In this work, the young woman's facial expression and closed eyes simultaneously evoke feelings of abandonment, ecstasy and delight. The painting now hangs in the Österreichische Gallery Belvedere Museum in the Belvedere Vienna, and is considered a masterpiece of Vienna Secession, the local variation of Art Nouveau. Klim's most famous paintings are The Kiss 1907, and Portrait of Adele Block Bauer 1907, which sold for a record auction price of more than $100 million in 2006. Salvatore Mundi Salvatore Mundi, Latin for Saviour of the World, is a subject in iconography depicting Christ with his right hand raised in blessing and his left hand holding an orb, known as a Globus Crucigar. It is a painting by Italian Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci around 1500. Long thought to be a copy of a lost original veiled with overpainting, it was rediscovered, restored, and included in a major Leonardo exhibition at the National Gallery in London in 2011-2012. It became famous because many have attributed the auction success of Salvatore Mundi to a triumph of marketing as much as market appetite. They also toured the painting around the world, generating enormous global hype, and billed the auction as a once-in-a-lifetime sale. The Salvatore Mundi was sold for $450 million at Christie's in New York in 2017 to Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman.
Next is the Guernica. Guernica is a large 1937 oil painting on canvas by Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. It is one of his best-known works, regarded by many art critics as the most moving and powerful anti-war painting in history. Guernica shows the tragedies of war and the suffering it inflicts upon individuals, particularly innocent civilians. This work has gained a monumental status, becoming a perpetual reminder of the tragedies of war, an anti-war symbol, and an embodiment of peace. Guernica is in Museo Reina Sofia in Madrid, Spain. Unlike Picasso's other works, the Guernica has never been up for sale and has no listed price attached. However, some valuations have placed the painting around $200 million. The Creation of Adam Creation of Adam is a famous religious moment in the teachings of Christianity which remains strong within Italy. It is a fresco painting by Italian artist Michelangelo, which forms part of the Sistine Chapel ceiling, painted around 1508-1512. It illustrates the biblical creation narrative from the book of Genesis in which God gives life to Adam, the first man. The image of the near-touching hands of God and Adam has become iconic of humanity. The painting has been reproduced in countless imitations and parodies. Michelangelo's creation of Adam is one of the most replicated religious paintings of all time. The Birth of Venus The Birth of Venus is undoubtedly one of the world's most famous and appreciated works of art. Painted by Sandro Botticelli between 1482 and 1485. It has become a landmark of 15th-century Italian painting, so rich in meaning and allegorical references to antiquity. The painting shows the triumphant goddess of love and beauty. The Romans knew her as Venus, while for the Greeks she was Aphrodite. She stands tall and naked at the center of the canvas, looking ethereal and luminous. She seems to draw all attention to herself. A symbol of beauty, who is both physical and spiritual. The Birth of Venus is one of the most valuable paintings in the entire world It was bought by the Italian government for $500 million and hang at the Uffizi Gallery in Florence in Italy. The Starry Night The Starry Night is an oil-on-canvas painting by Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh, painted in June 1889. It depicts the view from the east-facing window of his asylum room at St. Remy de Provence, just before sunrise, with the addition of an imaginary village. Starry Night was painted from memory and not outdoors as was Vincent's preference. It is probably Vincent van Gogh's most famous painting. Instantly recognizable because of its unique style, this work has been the subject of poetry, fiction, as well as the well-known song Vincent or the Starry Starry Night by Don McLean. This painting is one of the most frequently interpreted in terms of its meaning and importance in history. It has been in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City since 1941. Widely regarded as Van Gogh's magnum opus and one of the most recognized paintings in Western art. It is impossible to place a value on such a famous and treasured work of art, though other works by Van Gogh have sold for more than $80 million at auctions. As arguably Van Gogh's most famous work of art, it is safe to estimate the value of Starry Night at well over $100 million. Next is the Mona Lisa. Indeed, the Mona Lisa is a very realistic portrait. It is a half-length portrait painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. Considered an archetypal masterpiece of the Italian Renaissance, it has been described as the best known. The most visited, the most written about, the most sung about, the most parodied work of art in the world. Mona Lisa in the painting was a real person. It was a real Florentine woman, born and raised in Florence under the name of Lisa Gherardini. Now, the Mona Lisa hangs behind bulletproof glass in a gallery of the Louvre Museum in Paris, where it has been a part of the museum's collection since 1804. Da Vinci's Mona Lisa was assessed for insurance in 1962 and it was attached an insurance value of $100 million. That sum, in 2020, is equivalent to more than $860 million after adjusting for inflation. Thanks for watching, and God bless.